Hi, greetings family. I uh, got my good brother here and just uh, looking to get some uh, reflections of his journey to Tanzania with us uh, November 2020. Can you introduce yourself to everybody and my give us some feedback? And uh, how was your experience uh, to Tanzania knowing that, knowing that this was not your first journey? Yeah, they, well, this, this, yeah, this is my fourth time to Tanzania, 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 Tanzania yeah. and uh, the only thing that was different is I'm, I went with a group and knowing Bomani, he's going to have a group that I'm going to be one to feel home with, feel like a family with. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, and uh, the, I really enjoyed going back again to the National Museum because that's the first, I never saw that Jewish near every exhibit that they had. And, um, but you've never been to Arusha before, right? No, yeah, that's, that's true. I've never been to the north, northern part of uh, Tanzania. Went to Arusha, um, went on a, like a mini safari that I've, ne I've never done. Um, the tour guides that he, he had were fantastic. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from them. Uh, and uh, the, the main thing with me is coming to Africa. I've been to Africa eight times. And I want to see black people. <laughs> I want to see black people, black people on the money. Jews and Arabs on the money. Black people at the airport. Black people checking you in. Black people doing construction on the roads. Black people building. Here in the black neighborhoods. In the American talk about buying black. You have no choice here. <laughs> you will be buying black. So. That's perfect. Just like the Air Tanz Tanzania flight. Uh, that was uh, you know, impressive. I've uh, seen our own, our, own, our own crew running airport operation. It reminded me of when I was in Ethiopia. I was so impressed. And you know, letting people know that you know, that's what we're doing in Africa. And in order for us to grow and build, you know, more and more of us have to come and also be a part of the future. Yeah. Yeah. So on that note, I uh, wanted to uh, know what is uh, your best recommendation for those who have reserves on this uh, traveling to Africa? Yeah. yeah um the people that's keeping away from Africa, the Europeans that's talking negative about Africa, are the ones that's in Africa. So don't listen to them. Come to Africa, check out with Bomani, and, and come and visit. This is your, this is the motherland, this is your home. Come home. Absolutely, family, and I appreciate your, the, your energy. And one of the last things I want to find out from you, how was that resort for you? Were you able to relax and kick back? And uh, did, did you ever see a resort like that in Africa before? No, no, that's the first time I've been in a resort like that. Uh, when I was there before, it's a brother that I went with. He owns a four-room guest house, and it's a simple place, but I enjoyed it. And it's the first time me being in a resort. I don't really have to be in something that fancy, but it was, it was nice. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Now, just, you know, we kind of wanted to let uh, others know that we have everything in Africa. That was like one of the main things about it. Uh, beautiful, clear sand beaches, yeah. aqua blue water, and this uh, black-owned resort and the highest level owned by one of our brothers, a uh, brother from Tanzania. Okay. Absolutely, family. So anything else you'd like to share with um, our listeners? Okay. Um, we visited a restaurant that's owned by a Jamaican and sitting there and listening to the discussions that's going on. They're, they're very encouraging to see what we can do when we work together. Absolutely, family. So it's all about nation building. It's, uh, keep connecting, keep networking. Appreciate you, brother. Okay, thank you.